been a quiet couple days. <laughs> Speaking of that. Yeah, um, obviously uh, this is a special night to be able to recognize our football program and all the seniors and, and all the hard work they put into. Um, for those who have been around for a long time, uh, certainly not looking at the guy in front of me, uh, uh, they uh, to have four straight bowl games for the first time in our program's history. Uh, the team that's been, especially the guys that have been all, here all four years, should be very proud of the hard work that they put in to make that happen. And uh, so it's a special evening and we're, we're pleased to be here. Well, we obviously have tried to use Twitter to, to get our messaging out and, um, and use that platform. And, and uh, I thought it was important for our, our fan base to know from a recruiting standpoint as well to, that uh, um, it's flattering for coaches to have other opportunities. And at the same time, too, uh, that's happened a number of times in our program's history. We communicated the entire time. He was very transparent with me the entire time. And I was transparent with him, and uh, and it was not it was nothing as far as a request ever came up. This is a great place, you know. Look how long the coach Tommy stayed here, Coach Olson, Jim Live, and Good said Dempsey. Um, in March, it'll be six years for me. Uh, it's this is a great place, and uh, and I really feel that uh, um, we have coaches that want to be here, and uh, and you look at the track record of so many of our coaches and. Uh, I'm pleased uh, that we have such an attractive place to be. Heck, it's, what are we, December, what's the date today? Six. Six and 78 degrees outside. <laughs> it's pretty dang good. Again, I, I don't think it does, does us any good that every time a rumor comes up to address it, I did finally through Wildcat Wednesday and said it's flattering to Coach Rodriguez in our, in our football program and our university to be desired. At the same time, too, I'd much rather have that than having a coach that you all are saying, hey, uh, is this the guy the right fit for us? And so I think it's a flattering thing for us. And, and he and I have the relationship that we talk very openly about a lot of different things, including uh, uh, different opportunities where his name's tied to it. I think uh, any time that, uh, that somebody's name comes up for another job, there's always concern about it. But uh, at the same time, too, uh, I think the job that he's done for our program, people are very pleased with. And, uh, and so while there may be you know, somebody that has a concern here or there, I think the the response I heard last night was, they're really glad he's our coach. Well, if you guys haven't figured it out, we always have something up our sleeve that we're, that we're working on. But uh, uh, at some point, would we like to do an indoor practice facility? Yes. Uh, there's a lot of facility issues that we want to address, including a lot from a football standpoint. We've already made great strides. Look at where we are today than where we, where we were five years ago with Lowell Stevens, uh, with a lot of the things that we've even done in McHale. For, you know, we're working on our academic center right now. So there's been a lot of progress, and we don't want to slow that down. But obviously, we have to manage our resources and our budget and make sure we're good there, too. One thing, we're playing in the New Mexico Bowl. <laughs> and uh, tickets are uh, going on sale today. Jeremy? This evening online. The tickets are going on sale this evening online. And obviously, we know we have a, uh, a basketball game that night against UNLV. But we, we know some people did both last year. Uh, we, we want to encourage everybody that we can uh, to be make sure they're at the bowl game that night to, or that afternoon at 12 o'clock to support, support the football team as well.